course, yeah, and, and a lot of those things you can do with your children. So as well. am I hearing you right that you feel that it's better to be a young mum? I think that your tolerance is actually better when you're young because I find that people's tolerance sort of weakens as they get older. Mm -hmm. You know, it's sort of like I look at my mum now, I mean, with her, like obviously they're her grandchildren, she can't sort of like tolerate it as much as Mommy. we can. And she's like Mommy. 57. Mm -hmm. Wait a minute, darling. Um, but, okay. um, you know, she just sort of doesn't, you know, she can't Mommy. tolerate it, she can't cope with it as well. Right. Whereas okay. I, you know, it's, I can sort of cope with it. Right, okay. <laughs> well, waited to see how you're going to handle that situation. Yeah. Um, so what is the best age, therefore, to have children? Do you stand for me? 45? <laughs> I believe I have a child, I had a child at 17 and I had one at 21 and I believe at 16 I was far too young to have a child. I was much more interested in what everybody else was Mommy. doing, all I was interested in was going out. Mommy. Now I've had my second child at 21 and I've got all the time in the world for her. Mm. I'm more interested, I want to stay home now, I don't want to go out mm. and there's a... I feel totally different about the second child. There was no bond in between me and the first child. I, was, I had to grow up far too quickly. Mm -hmm. I was suddenly at school, leave school, have a baby, and that was it. Mm -hmm. It seemed like my life was over. So if I had my time over again, I definitely would not have a child at 16, right. 17. OK, thanks. Coming up after this break, we're going to be meeting someone who says to be born to parents over 40 is an embarrassment. Back soon. <laughs> Hi, and welcome back to the Crystal Rose Show, where we're asking, what is the best age to become a parent? Please meet Judy. Now, Judy, you found older parents, what, a big problem? Um, yeah, my mother was 41 when she had me, my father 42. Mm -hmm. um, what was the problem? Well, they both, they'd had two children before that. My brother was um, 14 when I was born, my sister 11. And I think the real problem was that society had changed and they were still trying to apply the same rules to bringing me up as they had to them. Mm -hmm. And obviously that didn't work. Um, I, I was constantly comparing how um, the rules were attached to me as opposed to my friends and their relationship with their parents, mothers particularly. Um, I mean, don't get me wrong, I think my parents did a fantastic job. Um, but I think I missed out in a way that they couldn't really understand what was going on around me. Um, as far as going to discos, general, um, you know, going shopping on my own with a friend, being able to catch a bus and go to a Wimpy in East Ham, a local shopping centre at the age of 12, was something so special to me. Mm. Um, and I'm not saying those standards were wrong, but it, they, I think they found it really hard. So um, how did that make you feel? Um, well, they'd, I'd, I'd often wish that people, when I was out shopping with them, would think they were my grandparents. I'm sorry, Mum. I'm sorry. So what? You were actually embarrassed, were you? Yeah. Yeah. I, think, I hope I don't think that they're my parents. I hope they think they're my grandparents. So that was when I was younger. There were things that my parents used to do that used to embarrass me. Having grown, matured, I now see that it wasn't embarrassing at all. Is that the same with you now that you're older? It wasn't an embarrassment, or you still find it? Oh embarrassing? yeah, no. It, I know. I don't find it embarrassment at all. I'm, I'm proud of them both. I think they're wonderful. Mm -hmm. um, but I still say that it was harder for both of us, for them and for me, as a result of that. I mean, I, my friends could talk to their parents um, about all sorts of things, whether it be a period or a boyfriend or somewhere they were going, a disco or a club. My parents never understood discos and clubs and pubs and still don't, really. Mm -hmm. And going to a pub on a Friday night is, is sort of looked down on in a way. Mm. So what would you say was the ideal age to have a child? Well, I don't, I don't think there is a specific age. I just, I mean, I, so I personally would, would still liked? do that. I would still do that. Me, personally, I would still have a child at an older age, but I think you've got to accept that there are problems and those problems will be uh, accentuated if, if you are older. Right, okay, let's see if there's any... Okay, stand for me, please. Well, these two are my daughters. Uh, I had Steve when I was 19, I had Sally when I was Steve. 40, mm -hmm. and Trendy. I had four boys in between, mm -hmm. and I've enjoyed every one of them. I've had the best of both worlds. I've had them young, I've had them older. Right. So, I, you know, I feel fine about it. Right. The, uh, the only time anyone's any, ever felt embarrassment because of having a child at 40 was a sales assistant who called me her nanny. Oh, really? And she was the only one that was embarrassed. I mean, I'm sure Sally will tell you she's not... Uh, She's not embarrassed by anything. So, Judy, you're talking about the generation gap and you don't feel that there should be one, or...? Well, I just think they, they found it particularly hard um, between you know, the, the rules they applied and things that were going on when my sister and brother were growing up and the things that were going on when I grew up. And uh, it's changing all the time. OK. 
I think people should really try and get children whilst they are still young because you grow up together with your child. Mm -hmm. You are faced with the world that has got so much coming up now. And after 20 years, your child lives in a different world and you live in another world. Right, okay. Sue Sanford, please. Right. Well, I disagree because my father was 53 when he had me and I find it very difficult at school. I was picked on, I had other, Why? other. well, they used to think it was my grandparents, I was different, I, I disliked it, I used to not bring anyone home because, oh, because they used to say things like, oh, he's older than you, I mean, when I was sort of 12, he was 65, I mean, I love him dearly, I mean, he, unfortunately he's not around anymore, but I think, I mean, it should be sort of sort of middle twenties to have a baby because I couldn't go out. There was a very big generation gap. He's, he had children when he was a lot younger. I mean, they're 25, 30 years older than me. Mm -hmm. He tried to bring me up the way they were and I wasn't allowed out. I wasn't allowed parties, wasn't allowed boyfriends. Um, I wanted a party for my 15th birthday and his idea was jelly and ice cream and just girls. <laughs> <laughs> and you couldn't talk to him? No, I couldn't talk to him at all. Right, OK, thanks Thank very much. Vicky, what do you think when you hear that? Well, I... I Not I, 58, I, but still. No, I mean, I, I, th I, I feel very sorry. For, I think that's an unfortunate circumstance. I just feel that um, I'll be sort of in touch with things. Part of being outside in the world, working in the world, I think does keep you in touch with what's going on. Well, let me see if you're in touch sort of a popular um, culture. Tell me, what's the top of the national charts at the moment? No, I'm waiting for the 60s to come back. No, you can't. <laughs> no, it's just around the corner. <laughs> and I've got, I've got my bell-bottom bell jeans, my, you know, clog shoes and my beads all waiting about... By the time Edward's off in school, I'm going to be that well okay then I got them on then then I'm going to be in the trendiest mom on the school run right okay <laughs> having a, having children takes a lot of energy and when there's a big generation gap between you it's very hard to enforce discipline because you have one point of view and you have to learn to realize that in a society that's constantly changing all the time your kids are going to be brought up to think different things how is a guy over there the 70 are going to be able to manage to do that so, so. well let's ask him Jimmy do you think you'll be able to manage to do that Yes. Yes? You see, the age gaps and everything to me is I adjusted myself. My wife is much younger than me. She's about 40 years younger than me. Well, when mini skirts came in, to me, I looked down and I thought to myself, oh, it's a terrible girl walking about short skirts like that. But she said, oh, could I have a mini skirt? Which was a natural thing to say. I said, of course you can. And to me, you feel that means, the, means that you're adapting. I adapted with the times. Mm -hmm. as, she, as the times go, I adapt with them. Mm -hmm. um, can I can I ask about you know you've got a son especially. Will you be able to play games of football with him? You know when he's ready. That's one thing I want to do. Mm -hmm. Tell me, what do you think about having an older mum? I think it's okay because you get you get more knowledge and so you can catch up when you go into class and school. Oh, that's very nice. So you think it's a positive thing to have an older parent? Yes. OK, thanks very much. OK, meet my final guest, Deborah Jackson, who's our expert on the matter. Um, tell me, is there medically an ideal age to have a child? You can look at it that way. You can look at the physical aspects of having children. And, of course, in many cultures, as soon as a woman has become a woman, she is able to begin the process of having children and will do so then right the way through, purely from a, f a physical point of view. As we've heard today, there are so many different emotional standpoints. Mm -hmm. And most of the parents here will tell you that what they did was right for them. Mm -hmm. And that is what really matters. Mm -hmm. I've actually seen both sides of the story. Um, I had a child and I was 16. I've actually got three children now and I'm only 20. Um, my father, he's 62 and he's got an 18-month-old child. Wow. And, uh, Your family's been busy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and um, I think he'd be the first to admit how hard it is, um, how much he's had to adjust and just the noise and the mess in general he finds hard. And within the last 18 months since the child's been born, he's had been di diagnosed with severe angina. He's got to have a triple high bite heart bypass, he's got lung problem, so his child is so small but he can't involve himself so much because he's not medically up to it now. Whose interest should we put first? The child. Right, okay.